The purpose of this video is to outline the scope of the work necessary on the Wabi Tower Road. The Wabi Tower Road is 3 kilometers west of the intersection with Highway 97 and Highway 29 South. The road has two branches, one proceeds upwards to 5.2 kilometers to the location of the former BC Forest Tower, and the other goes 6.6 .6 kilometers towards Lone Prairie. The road is not maintained by any group at this time. CRS, the Ministry of Transportation, and the BC Ministry of Environment or the Ministry of Forest have all been contacted, and they do not have any affiliation to the road. No road user permits have been taken out for the Wabi Tower Road, and it is not radio controlled. After considerable research, it was found that the road is considered a non-status or non-designated road, and users use this road at their own peril. Industry Canada has over 30 registered radio frequency licenses registered to towers on Wabi Mountain, and this video will be sent to all major users. Users frequent the road to install and maintain radio equipment, and often large vehicles are used to bring in fuel for generators. Travel on the Tower Road is treacherous. The road is gauged with rills, gullies, washouts, and trenches. You can witness the care and attention necessary when a vehicle proceeds up or down the hill. Two major washouts of the road are in place. Vehicles have to make their way through the mud and water. A survey of the road by an engineer indicates that culverts are needed in at least six locations to prevent the extreme erosion of the roads. This will reduce or end the flow of water on the road surface. Further, the grading of the road is essential at this time and that the graveling of the road is necessary. If contributions are provided for upgrading the road, the maintenance of the road will improve during winter driving since a gravel foundation is necessary. Winter conditions on the road could easily result in a collision or rollover. It has also been recommended that a gate be placed at the entrance of the Wabi Tower Road to prevent access from persons dumping garbage, partying with large bonfires, and firing rifles. There are only two residents on the Tower Road. Both are unhappy with the current situation. Yeah, I'm Verna Bedell and, and we own property on the Tower Road on top of Wabi Hill. And we have a lot of problem with people going through the back road, leaving garbage, uh, a lot of noise, sometimes gunshots, sometimes moose shot, whatever. But mostly we have trouble with garbage and more this year than we've had in a long time. The placement of a gate at the entrance of the road is only a recommendation at this time. The goal is to have users commit funds towards the reconstruction in two phases and to examine the ways and means to control the misuse of the area. Phase 1 would consist of installing six separate culverts, ditching work, regrading the existing road and graveling the worst spots. Phase 2 would consist of covering up the road extrusions at three points where bedrock is protruding up to the surface. More gravel will be added to the surface and ditches checked and cleared of any debris. The Wabi Tower Road requires immediate attention and all users will be receiving a notice of the intention of the Chetwin Communications Society to have the road improved in 2014 and 2015.